Hello loves, today I want to show you how to do a dry marble technique using gel polish and a simple dotting tool. Just for starters, I went ahead and did a base of my lightest color. In this case, I'm using Ink Scarlet Empress. And then I'm also going to marble that in with Ink Secret Desire. So I applied the base color, which is the lightest. I always like to use the lightest in my marbles because I feel like it just turns out a little better that way. Then I'm going to take a little bit of polish and put it here on what I'm using as a palette. This is a sandwich bag that just has a piece of cardstock inside it. Nice and easy. You can just throw it away when you're done. So I'm going to take a dot of each of the colors that I'm going to marble together and I'm going to put them here on this palette so I can work from it. And my dotting tool has two ends. I have a large end and I have a much smaller end. And I actually use both when I do a marble. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to start by taking a dot of the darker color that I did not use for my base. And I'm just going to go ahead and start dotting these on. And I generally kind of just try to go in a line, pretty much like if you were doing a dot manicure on a nail. And you want to get them pretty well covering the nail. You'll notice that these dots are fairly thick, and that's good because you want to have a good bit of gel left over for the marble itself. Okay, and now I'm just going to wipe the dotting tool on a little wipe over here. And I'm going to go back with the second color and I'm going to go and fill in in between. And the idea here is to make sure that there is a good surface of gel that is wet, uncured gel to work with. And of course, you know, the dots don't have to be perfect. You're going to mix it all together in just a minute anyway. But you definitely want to make sure that the nail is completely wet between the drops. Okay, now that I have everything on the nail, and as you can see, it's fairly wet with the polish, I'm then going to take the smaller end of the dotting tool, and I'm going to start dragging from one corner to the next, picking up at the end of each drag. And you want to keep these kind of close together so that you're actually moving each of the dots. You don't want any of the dots to remain when you're done. And I'm then going to take it along the edge, and I see that there are some dots left, so I'm just going to gently drag those. And try to be careful not to drag too much. You definitely don't want to lose any of the definition, and you can very easily overmix the two colors on the nail. So once that is good, and I like the look of it, then I'm just going to go ahead and cure it, and add my top coat, and I'm done. See? Nice and simple. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions, of course, always feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll see if I can answer them. Thank you!